Libra. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, the 26th of June to the 2nd of July 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So straight into it, you get the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Mm -hmm. I think somebody had these two together. Somewhere along the line I've had both out. New Moon and Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Hope that's for each and every single one of you um, watching here. But take some time to meditate, to contemplate. That light is at the end of the tunnel and it may be bringing a very lucky time. Love those two together, Libra. Brilliant. All right. So 26th of June to the 2nd of July 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Libra. Overall, you have the High Priestess. Okay. Not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much all at once happening at the moment. Too much happening all at once. Maybe that should have come out as. <laughs> um, but yeah, kind of sitting back. Quite observant, still aware of what's going on around you. But just not wanting everything to be put on top of you all at once. Meditate and contemplate. This just may be your moment to be having some time um, for that. Some soul searching time there. Into Monday, Three of Pentacles, Libra, partnership, collaboration, working together as a team. This may be around love, around home, around work. It is putting the plans into place, making sure something is solid here from the ground up, but working together to get the job done. Tuesday, Prince of Wands. Your focus, your dedication, you know where you want to be heading towards, you know it's a roller coaster ride, there are the ups, there are the downs. This is about sticking to your guns, digging your heels, a determination to stay on board and to not let that focus waver. While you are sitting back, we talked about being observant, what's going on around you, that observation is more a focus of where you're heading. With luck on your side, Libra. Ten of Pentacles, success, right there on Wednesday. Um, things are looking pretty rosy and pretty good here around home, around home and family life. The success that's coming in for the hard work that you have put, it, put in to get to this stage. With all the downs you've had to endure along the journey, with all the ups that you have had to endure, although they're a lot more um, pleasant to manage um, along this journey. That success is your reward. Four of Swords on Thursday. This is talking about the hard work that you do to get some sort of results here. Not getting to the burnout stage. Um, needing some time to heal when needed. Looking after number one. I always say you can't look after someone else if you're not looking after yourself first. But this is that time to meditate and contemplate. This may be shifting the goalpost. Luck is on your side, but you want to go in, into this um, with a fresh burst of energy rather than just out of the frying pan into the fire where you just keep going and going and going and then, as we said, burn out at some stage. This is about looking after number one, looking after yourself on this journey. And the journey begins for the next level here with the chariot made of connection to a cancer. This is we talked about a partnership at the start of the week. This is about balancing this chariot out so you're not um, going around in circles one sided. This is about not getting the speed wobbles, um, keeping things moving forward at a manageable pace. And that ties in with that healing moment as well. Knowing when you're getting to a stage of where you need to slow down and take that time. That allows that chariot to slow down, 
why you take that time and it may be this high priestess energy overall where you are doing that as well look at saturday sunday look at your weekend <laughs> libra saturday the sun happiness joy freedom here everything is starting to fall into place luck is on your side it's shining pretty damn brilliantly down on you <laughs> with that sun right there love 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 that and sunday your own energy may have connection to another libra justice I always say sweet justice good karma good result you've put the hard work in luck is on your side and it is throwing right here actually right here as well down here friday saturday sunday the chariot look what what you're you're journeying into if that's a word there you're coming into your true happiness you're coming into a favorable outcome love it we will clarify everything still um libra starting with the high priestess overall Two of Swords, Three of Wands, Knight of Wands. This is just, um, you know, that time to take that, that time to take that time. Um, it's your moment to take some time out to yourself to do this meditating and contemplating here, to take the blindfold off and figure out what path this chariot is about to take you on. You've got the Knight of Wands again, you know your focus, but there may be multiple ways of getting there. And this is about making sure your eyes are wide open to what's going on around you. Maybe seeing someone or something in a more favorable way, it may be in a less favorable way, but ultimately it's about taking the blindfold off and still having that very clear focus of where you're heading love that monday libra three of pentacles king of swords six of swords the world now is your moment right here you are putting some solid plans into place to get things moving in a forward direction and while you're working as this partnership or team um, this is talking about putting some plans into place in the background this may be the first inklings from your meditating and contemplating doing some soul searching here but thinking things through very logically very level-headed using your head over your heart and before actually stepping forward to um, speak up around this partnership so that you're both on the same page here um, this is about taking that step step back and working out this whole plan prince of wands tuesday princess of swords eight of wands princess of wands so now now that you've done that time for yourself that moment this is now about the communication lines opening up and voicing what you're thinking what you're feeling to somebody um, around this partnership and again around love around work around home you're ready to get this journey on the go you do have this focus but it's gone from having that focus like in here and here but um, now starting to work together put some solid plans into place and to get the journey underway ten of pentacles wednesday six of pentacles two of cups double dose ten of pentacles brilliant all of those as a match there is love here it may be an existing relationship it may be somebody extremely brand new it may be the partnership involved here making sure things are equal give and take I always say if you're doing all the giving someone else is doing all the taking this is equality this is working together in a balanced structured way to reach your success especially a double dose of that luck is on your side um, and is on this journey with you so four of swords get the five of pentacles ten of cups the star may have connection to an aquarius here i feel like you may feel left out of a situation left out in the cold you may feel the six of swords is someone else the other part part of the partnership um putting some plans into place without letting you know first and again it works as a cross watcher possibly watching that this is all about getting the solid plans the ideas into place 
and then working together to bring that successful result right there. And this is then allowing you to move forward to warmer energy that's um, away from feeling like you're left out in the cold because it's just maybe that you're not. It's just that the first inklings are being put into place here. But the focus here is your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, what your heart desires, a lot of emotional happiness here, content with where things are sitting. But it also needs to be saying content with taking some time out to heal when you feel like you are left out in the cold here. And that, that healing time allows you to focus on your dreams and where you are where you are heading because as I said Friday Saturday Sunday the chariot the sun justice super energy that you are heading into with luck on your side Libra so the chariot yeah the princess of cups the hermit knight of pentacles meditate and contemplate right there with the hermit doing that soul searching and seeing that light at the end of the tunnel not rushing into things um, we've got this chariot here we said not getting the speed wobbles this may be a slow journey but it's a slow journey to the sun and to the happiness and joy and it's a slow journey to your sweet justice and your favorable outcome go as slow as it needs to take while you are doing this soul searching and the contemplation here and the healing and um, knowing that this love is he here <coughs> oh I got my throat it may be that something needs to be said here it's slowing down for a moment to be able to speak and say something possibly around this offer of love Libra warm fuzzy feelings possibly with the sun right here on Saturday justice that you go into next that's your own energy as well three of cups i love it seven of swords you are celebrating sweet justice you are celebrating a very favorable outcome luck is on your side i feel like you're very aware of it here and you're also celebrating being able to walk away with what works for you from some something someone somewhere a situation deceptive energy gossip backstabbing etc this is also a celebration but ultimately you are celebrating sweet justice that's bringing you all the happiness in the world love it hope that is for all of you so we finish with justice as well queen of cups five of wands nine of wands look at the obstacles that you have had to overcome to get here you've had to dodge a lot of bullets and jump through a lot of hoops to get here but that is all behind you there's been the drama the conflict the disagreements may have been a legal battle that you've been through with your sweet justice but all these obstacles that you have had to overcome throughout but now you are sitting pretty proud of how far you've come emotionally on some sort of journey luck has been on your side here as things are really 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 starting to work your way okay libra universe says nine of cups two of wands the full emotional happiness it's all there for the taking i say take it with both hands and run with it but i feel like now you're actually sh focusing on shifting the goalpost what's next what is the next journey about to bring you may be looking at heading in a completely different direction for some of you and others it is just about your journey that continues here knowing you've got to keep moving towards those goals but i feel like somewhere along the line there's a um a leap of faith that you are about to take with something or someone or even somewhere but um your journey does continue number 17 the amber star let go I surrender and allow myself to grieve okay and this may be um, where did we have that I'm sure we had all that four of swords there I thought we had five of, yes five of Pentacles that's on the four of swords this may be your moment to work through things there with that meditation and contemplation but you get number 17 we'll read that star words disenchantment morning power the amber star is the 
is the integration of the solar plexus chakra and the crystal spirit of amber. The solar plexus is the yellow chakra situated above the navel and below the sternum. When combined with the passionate spirit of amber, this energetic vortex is the center of perception, personal power and persona. The shadow side of the solar plexus is grief. As the amber star, Electra inspires you to an intentionally grieve, heal and let go of any past woundings that you are clinging to. Forgiveness is simply conscious surrender for united peace and happiness. In doing so, you reclaim your sacred power. And that then allows this chariot to get moving with luck on your side to your bigger and better things and to your sweet justice. So Libra, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.